Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're talking about converting from exponential and logarithmic form. So we're going to go from exponential form to logarithmic form and vice versa. Okay, so one important thing to understand is that exponentials and log. So logs is what we routinely refer to logarithmic functions as. Logs is just kind of like a short math slang, if you will, because uh, saying logarithmic over and over again is really annoying and kind of hard to say. So instead we just say log. Um, so I'll be kind of using both as I go along, but we're talking about the same thing. So exponentials and logs are inverses. So in the same way we say adding and subtracting, they're opposites of each other, right? Multiplying and dividing, those are inverses. Um, so inverse, opposite, same thing. Uh, so exponentials and logs are inverses of each other. So we can easily convert from one form to another. So first we'll talk about exponential form. Exponential form is, and in this case I've just used b, x, and y, right? We can change out variables for these, but we would say um, b to the x power equals y. What makes it an exponential form is that we've got a base and we've got an exponent, b to the x power. Versus in log form, right? We've got this word log actually written. Um, so we'll have this word log base b of y equals x. That's how we pronounce that. So log base b of y equals x. Now, of course, it won't be a b and a y and an x necessarily. It could be. Um, but typically, we're going to have other values in for, um, for the b and for the y and for the x. So in order to go from one form to another, or from this form to that form, right, we make this thing called a backward C. So you start with your item on the most left, and then you make this C all the way, this backward C, and we're gonna end with the X. So when we do this in exponential form, we end up with a log form, the way we write it. So we would say, b, b, and then the next thing we get to is a y, y, and then the last part we get to is the x, x, okay? And then we could do that backward c on the other side as well. So we would start not with the log, okay? The log is just kind of there. We're going to start with the most left item, which is the base, b. So b, the next place we hit is x, and we end up with y. Okay, so when we're going from this form to this form, the first place we um, start at is B. Then the next place we hit was the X to the power of X. And the place we ended up was Y, Y. So we want to convert an exponential, and I've given you two exponentials, into a log form or logarithmic, okay? So we, we make the backward C to do this. So when I'm moving from exponential to log, the first thing I wanna do is write the word log, okay? In log form, we're gonna have the word log. So first thing is log. The next part is the first place I start on the left, three. So log base three. And then when I follow that backward C, what's the next place I hit? Well, that would be this nine. So this would be log base three of nine. And then the last place I hit is two, right? So equals two. It's kind of just a pattern. You're just making this form into this form by following the backward C. So let's do the same thing with this 16 to the one fourth power equals two. We're gonna go from exponential to log. Notice exponentials have the exponents in them, right? We wanna take it into log form. So the first thing I'm gonna do is write the word log. Next thing I do is the backward C. So the place I start, the most left place is 16. So that tells me my base, 16. When I do my C, the next place I hit is 2. So log base 16 of 2 equals, and then I keep curving around, and where's the last place I end up? 1 fourth. So again, we read this as log base 16 of 2 equals one fourth. 
Okay, so we can definitely also use a check because sometimes students get confused and they're like, did I put my nine in the right place? Did I put my three in the right place? We can do a check on this on the calculator and this is also a good time to show you how to plug in uh, a log on the calculator. So we know three squared equals nine, right? They told us that and we know three times three equals nine. So let me plug in this and make sure I get two because if I put everything in the right spot, I will. So the way we type this in um, would be log. So we would do this as a, a little shortcut is math alpha math. Okay, that brings up that log form. So math alpha math. So log base three and then we'll write right arrow over to nine. And when I hit enter, I should get two. So if I've done my job right and I've done my placement correctly, I should be able to get a true answer when I put this in. If I had reversed the nine and the three, let's just say, and I were to put nine and three in, I wouldn't get two, right? I get something different. So that's just a good, good way to double check. We can double check this one as well. Math alpha math. So log base 16 of two, do I get one fourth or it's gonna give me the decimal? 0.25, yes. Okay, and if, you, if you're like, man, how do I know that 0.25 is one fourth? Well, we can turn any decimal into a fraction. Math, enter, enter. It'll convert the decimal into the fraction for you. So uh, just some good calculator tricks there. But let's keep moving. So now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to go from log form and convert to exponential form. So when we do that, notice we're starting with log forms. They've got the word log in them. They're pretty easy to identify. Um, but I want to convert them to exponential. So remember the backward C. I start with my most left number, right, 5. And that's going to be my big base, 5. When I curve my C around, the next place I hit is a three, so five to the third power equals, where do I end up? 125. And you can double check that on your calculator. Is five cubed 125? Yes, it is. So you can keep going. Okay, now notice this one. This one is a little weird, because you may be thinking, oh man, I wanna start here but there's nothing there, right? It just says log of 100, there's no, there's no base. So that's gonna happen sometimes. If you don't have a log um, base written, it is an understood 10. There is an understood base of 10 there. So that tells me when I start here, my base is gonna be 10. When I curve around, what's the next place I hit? Two, so that goes in my exponent place. Then I've got my equals. And where do I end up? 100. And is 10 squared 100? Yes, 10 times 10 is 100. So remember, if you don't see a log base, it is an understood 10. And then for this last one, this one looks a little weird just because got a fraction thrown in there, but we don't treat it any different, okay? You still follow the same backward C rule. So where do I start at? Where's my leftmost number? Five. So my base is going to be five. When I curve around, what's the next place I hit? Negative two. So I have an exponent of negative two equals, where do I end up? One over 25. Okay, for the U try, I want you guys to try these two. So for this one, you're going to go from exponential form to log form. And then from this, for this one, you're going to go from log form to exponential form. I will post uh, the answers in the video description below. This has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.